which in our case is four. Okay, this will be video number five zero five for chapter eleven of Levin's book Statistics for Managers. We are looking at uh, running the multiple comparisons by using the Tukey Kramer procedure. This time from the spreadsheet designed specifically for the text. It came uh, with the companion workbooks. The file is called Tukey Kramer. What they recommend us to do here, if we don't want to run the pH stat 2, was to pick uh, the number of groups, which in our case is 4, and uh, read the appropriate tab. Tukey Kramer 4 is designed for comparing four groups and enter manually all the data uh, from the data file parachutes, which also came in the companion workbook, and then simply wait for the, watch the cells calculate the results for us. So what's the easiest thing to do will be just to copy this, copy this whole layout instead of using the separate uh, spreadsheet, we'll just put it as one of the tabs in the chapter 11 parachutes uh, spreadsheet. So let's do that. Okay, copy. And I just did this, let's do it again. Okay. What we have is the copy of the manual procedure. And now just go and take the data supplied by the authors and uh, manually throw them into the appropriate cells. Actually, sample means are absent. Maybe they're here. Yeah, this is a better version of data file. Okay. Now we get the sample means. To group one, this will equal the cell. Okay. Level of significance, we're going to keep at 5%. The degrees of freedom in the denominator are supposed to be 16 because we have 20 parachutes in four groups. That's 20 minus 4. That'll be 16. Calculating MSW. We calculated MSW before. 
Let's just copy it from here. This is the number that we're going to use. And Q statistic was also checked from the table on page A10. It was 405, remember that, 4.05. Got everything now. except for the sample size, they are all the same. We are lucky here. And uh, the results from this file, which was manually designed, uh, are the same. This is not negligible. Group 1 to group 2. These two means these are not negligible. This difference is important. And these differences are negligible. So most likely we're going to select, as we would have done in real life, the supplier whose parachute provides the highest tensile strength. Now this has been the analysis of fibers only. We, ha we have not looked at an another factor, which was the type of the loom. The single factor which we have just examined was which supplier to use, which one of these guys to use. And as in real life, we would have picked this one. Next, we're going to be looking at ANOVA assumptions, now that we are done with multiple comparisons. And it should be noted that most statistical texts talk about assumptions before running the analysis. We need to make sure we know what to expect from the results of the analysis by checking the assumptions of it. But in this text, it's different and it's okay. They're just presenting the whole procedure. Let's stop here before recording the next video. Okay, this will be